Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplify. And in my this particular video, I am going to discuss one very interesting concept. That is, in my previous video, if you have seen, I have taken either images externally or I have used those images which are present in MATLAB database itself. Now we are going to create images using programming. Okay, so let us try to do that one kind of interesting stuff. Okay, so CLC, clear all, close all. Warning off. Okay, m is equal to one empty array I am taking for i equal to 1 colon 20 for j equal to 1 colon 20 that is 20 rows 20 columns in this internal for in this external for ms of i comma j that is at i comma j the index of my ms matrix the value will be i star j that is row multiplied by column will be the corresponding value okay right so what i will do i will just select the whole part and perform evaluate selection here in the workspace, we will be getting three different uh, variables. I will double click on MS and one variable window will open where we can easily see the value MS 20 cross 20 matrix. Okay, you pick up any value. Suppose this 55 if you consider row is 11, column number is 5, 11 multiplied by 5 is 55. Like that, each values we are getting by multiplying row with column. Okay. So obviously minimum value of the matrix will be present here because here row number is one, column number is one, one multiplied by one is one and maximum value we will be getting here in this side, right? Sorry, let me just take, yes, this side, this one, 20, column number 20, row number 20, 20 cross 20 is 400, right? Now what I want, this is all matrix values well and good integer numbers. Now. If we want to represent these values with colors in image, what we have to do? We have to map all these integer values to some colors, right? For each integer should be mapped to different different colors. For that, the inbuilt function present in MATLAB is image sc. Okay, image because we are showing with respect to image and scaled color. Okay, that is color will be scaled according to the values of my matrix okay just write ms now control a evaluate selection if i just run this i'll be getting this beautiful picture okay so here what you have seen this is 20 cross 20 matrix axis is shown the scale uh, values of in the axis y axis and x axis and you can clearly understand this side is uh, having maximum value maximum value side is showing using yellow color and lower values are showing using blue color right now i want to get the idea that how the values are mapped with respect to colors so what you have to do you have to write just one more extra line color bar okay that is it will show the color bar according to which values are mapped okay so see if i just run this i will be getting this kind of output here you can see the color bar, lower values, see 50, 100, as we are moving upward from blue, it is turning to yellow, okay, right? So, you can give axis square to make this image look like square matrix because our image is 20 cross 20, so it should be square, so better to give axis square, okay? So, we will be getting this kind of image, all right. Now, what or how we can play with this, what we can do, one possibility is we can make such image where the central part will be the higher values and as we will move towards the boundary side, it will take blue color values or lower values, okay? So it will look very beautiful thing. So just if we pad this matrix, we might get this side also. Let me just write that. So what I will do, ms equal to ms ms. I am padding side by side. Let us see how the image will look like. So image is looking like this, okay? But we want this central part should come here. So left to right side flipping, if we do, we might get that flip LR, okay? 
now let's see see this upper side came okay now we have to create the lower side also so what i will do i will take this same and i will put in the downside appending in the downside okay let us check what kind of graph we are getting no this is not the graph this should be in upward direction all right so what we will do we will write here flip ut let's hope that it should work some error we are getting okay flip ud this is one matrix yes see perfectly we are getting the image which we wanted that is central part is having higher values as we are moving towards the boundary side it is eventually taking lower values okay and that is how it is mapped now how we can make this picture uh, grayscale so to do grayscale you have to write this argument color map gray okay that is gray color color map should come okay run this control a and evaluate selection see how beautifully we are getting central part is white which is indicating higher values brighter pixel and as you are moving towards the boundaries it is becoming eventually black okay and if you want to go go back to the original color just you need to write default okay that is default one is that kind of colorful pattern if you want to get right so this is what about image sc so remember when we should use image sc instead of im show im show is for showing normal images and image sc is used if you are having one matrix okay and you want to map each values to some color and want to show that image okay using scaled color okay image and then sc scaled color okay one more concept i want to show that is how the random noise can make images okay clc clear all close all warning off okay then i am taking random noise uniform distribution 100 cross 100 matrix and then i can simply write image sc of x okay control a evaluate selection see i am getting this kind of colorful noisy image so i can write here x square and if i want color map gray so see i hope you have seen this kind of noise images many times in television when the signal goes down okay if i just zoom you might observe that these are nothing but font using different gray color pixel values okay bright dark like that different possible gray color values okay right so this is how you can play with images flip lr flip ud okay this you can play so this is all for my this video i will be posting the same code in the description box or in the comment section if you want you can check there thank you for watching